Hello friends. This video is regarding temp data in MVC3 Razor. Now, what is temp data and what is the use of temp data? Temp data is a dictionary object that is derived from temp data dictionary class and stored in short lives session. Now, temp data is used to pass data from current request to subsequent request means in case of redirection. Typecasting is required for complex data types and it is used to store only one-time messages like error message and validation message. Now basically, temp data works like view data and view back and helps to pass data from controller to view. Unlike view back and view data, temp data maintains or persists data until the next request. Means if a redirection occurs for a controller, if a controller is called subsequently or for the second time, temp data maintains the data for the second request as well. But view data and view back doesn't persist. So basically, this is the advantage of temp data that it persists data for the subsequent request. So we're gonna see how temp data helps in sending data from view to controller and how the data persists in redirection and how it doesn't persist in redirection. So let's create an application to see this example. We create a new project. Name it as temp in Razor. We choose empty application with Razor View Engine. Say OK. Now let's start and we add a new controller. We name it as temp data controller. We rename the default index method to temp data and on right clicking the method body we add a view for this action method. We are not going to use any master page or layout. So our view and controller is ready. And to call this action method first we need to make certain changes in global.ax. So we say temp data controller is the first con is a controller we need to call first and method to be called is stem data. Now to demonstrate the example of view data, I mean temp data and how it works compared to view data and view back, we are going to create a form on the first view, the view which is rendered first. So we say html dot form now we're gonna place a text box field inside it and a submit button to submit the form so let's create label name it as first name And we create a text box. We name it as first name. And finally, we create submit button. Now, this on clicking the submit button this form will be submitted to a action method and we need to create the action method in the controller we say submit temp as the name this method also return a view and let us add this view as well
now let's run the application and see what further steps we want to take from here so our first view is ready and we have a text box which accepts a name first name and we have a submit button which posts data to the action method now what we want to do is I'm gonna give any name over here I'm gonna submit the form this form will be submitted to this method I'll get the form value or the text box value I'll assign it to temp data and after assigning it to temp data I'll render this view and we are going to have a link on this view on clicking that link which would be a subsequent request to this method we'll check whether the temp data persists or not the one which we have assigned over here so to do that first we have to make certain changes in the controller so we say http post as we are posting the data and we are posting data to this method so we need to include this in our form we say we need to call this action method of temp data controller now to access the values of the form we are going to use form collection uh, we are creating a string variable and we are accessing the first name value from the collection using a key which is basically the name attribute we give here first name so now we have got the value in the string variable now we need to assign it to the temp data so this is the property we want to use and syntax is temp data it accepts a key to identify uh, the values assigned so we say first name is our key and we are assigning the first name to it now on this view as discussed earlier we gonna create a link so this is the view basically so we place a link that is the anchor tag we are going to use html.actionlink helper which accepts the name we give it as click and the action method to which we want to redirect so we want to redirect it to temp data which is basically this method now in this method finally we will check if the temp data persists or not so we say if temp data not equal to null then in that case if it is not null we are going to prepare a view data with the same key first name not to string I'm gonna tell you what uh, we wanna do with this view data so first let's check whether the temp data persists in the subsequent request or not so let's run the application first the temp data method is called and obviously the temp data will be null as there is no assignment and the method is called for the first time so it escapes the if block I have I, we have I did. and I give any name that is theory Henry. I submit the form and we get all the 
values of form in this in all keys this is first name so we are accessing the value in this first name and we are assigning it to temp data and we are entering this view on this view we have rendered a click that is action link which will redirect us to the temp data method so let us click this method click this link now we are again back on this method and now we are checking whether it's null or not no it's not null as because in the previous request that is which was submit temp we have assigned value to temp data so in the next request the temp data is persisting so we return the value now just we have seen how the data persist now let's see what I'm gonna do with the, this view data so now view data is ready for us when in the subsequent call when the temp data is not null so we are gonna print this view data over here so we say if view data with the same key defined in controller not equals to null then and then only print this that is welcome what we are doing when the view data is null we are not printing anything and when the view data is not null we are printing it so let's see again we are checking whether the data persists or not in the subsequent request this is the first request so temp data will be null it won't enter the if block so let us go to the view while debugging we see the view data is also null so it won't print the welcome message it just prints the form now we give any name suppose we give Cisco Fabregas we submit the form now it comes to the action method we access the name we assign it to the temp data we render this view and we click on this click again the temp data method is called and this time the temp data is not null our view data is prepared and let us debug through the view and what we see is view data is not null so it will print the welcome message so this is how view data i mean the temp data persist in the subsequent calls unlike view data and view bag which become null in the subsequent call so this demo demonstrates that temp data persists in the subsequent call now we need to see why and how it doesn't persist in the call which is the third call I mean the one call more than the subsequent call I mean subsequent call is the second call to the any controller and on the next call the temp data becomes null so for that let's close this application and we create a action link one more action link here we say final click and the method we are going to call is final so we need to create this final action method In this we are we are not going to create a new view we are redirecting redirect, it to this action method and so we say return redirect to action and this is the name of the action method action method name is in data 
now let's check both the things how the data persists for the subsequent request and how the data doesn't persist like the request next to the subsequent request so let's run the application the first time the temp data will be null so there will be no welcome message now we give the name as Thomas Rosicky submit the form now we fill the temp data with the name we return the view we click on this anchor tag now the temp data is filled view data is filled we return the view now the welcome message is shown this demonstrates that temp data is persist for the subsequent request now we are going to make the third call or the third request on the final click link and this calls this method again it calls a temp data method now this is the call which is uh, one more than the subsequent call that is a third call so now again the temp data will be null so view data is null and so there will be no welcome message so this demonstrates that it doesn't work temp data is null after the subsequent request and it only persists until subsequent request so basically temp data advantage is that it persists for the single request i mean single and the subsequent request unlike the view data and view back but it doesn't persist request after the subsequent request so this ends our tutorial and uh, our agenda and our video so i hope uh, you got what is temp data and what's the use of temp data thank you friends